Mr. Gideon, um, can you tell us your name and the name of your school? I am Koire Gideon, a head teacher of Rabiata Seed Secondary School, found in uh, Rabiata Sub County, Rabiata Village, in Nakasongora District. And tell me about the water situation at your school currently. Uh, this being the same RED area, the water problem is acute. In fact, we are using water from the dams, which is not clean, and we share it with the cows, as it were. And uh, our children moved a distance of nearly two kilometers from the school here down where the water source is. Generally, on the wall, we have both some borders and some desk scholars. But the desk scholars, on the one hand, are even traveling. Some children come 12 kilometers away from their homes to the school and they walk back. But many of them again come to that water source at very late hours, thus making them vulnerable to any other hazards, which includes people who want to defile them. Uh, wild animals, snakes, and the rest of being bitten by those snakes. So we think that with this program coming, it is going to go a long way in solving the issue of water. Down here, in fact, if you went to our toilet facilities, you may find that there is a no hand wash because of shortage of water. You cannot allow a child, a child cannot wash hands when she has not drunk. So we sometimes go over that, but we think that with this program of drink local, drink tap, drink tap, it's going to go a long way in solving some of these problems. And with our population starting, standing at 716 students, as of now, it's going to really elevate our problem. And is it going to increase on the enrollment generally and improve on the percentage of passing students? Those students, actually, 12 child, they are going to be at the center here and then enjoy their life like any other student elsewhere. Um, thank you. And one more question. You were mentioning um, the distance that students uh, can walk to go fetch water from the lake, how far do they go? There are several points. One is called Kikaraganya. Kikaraganya is about eight kilometers. Tumba is about five kilometers from here. Then Kansira is also about five to six kilometers from here. In the case where drought has come and all the dams are dry, we move to those distances. And that makes it very difficult for teaching and learning because most of the time is spent on that walking for water. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to continue working to make this project happen for you. Thank you too. Thank you for coming. And thank you for the effort that you're making. You're welcome.